Our top story at this present moment, BCCI President Jagmohan Dalmia passed away after he suffered a fatal heart attack in a Kolkata hospital on Sunday night. Mr. Dalmia's body has been taken to his house. His mortal remains will be taken to the Cricket Association of Bengal at 11.30 a.m. Full state honours will be accorded to the cricketing administrator. 75-year-old Dalmia had complained of chest pain and breathing trouble on Thursday night. He was rushed to the BM Birla Hospital and doctors monitored his progress. After surgery, the doctors confirmed he was stable and would soon recover. But on Sunday night, Dalmia breathed his last. Dalmia had served the BCCI for 36 years and is widely regarded as one of the greatest cricket administrators. He became treasurer of the organization in 1983 and was instrumental in helping India host the 87 and 96 World Cups. Also served as ICC president in 97. Now, tributes poured in for Dalmia, not just uh, from the cricketing fraternity, but also from the government. Prime Minister Narendra Modi tweeted, and I quote, My thoughts are with the family of Sri Jagmohan Dalmia in, his hour of in this hour of grief. May Sri Dalmia's soul rest in peace, unquote. And that's not all. Cricketing legend Sachin Tendulkar also paid tribute, saying he will cherish his encouragement and support over the years, especially touched by his efforts to make his penultimate test memorable. क्रिकेट के लिए तो एक बड़ा लक्षण है। चाहे मैं बताऊँ या नहीं बताऊँ ये बात तो सच है। उन्होंने पूरा जिंदगी भर क्रिकेट के लिए संघर्ष करते रहे, क्रिकेट के लिए लड़ते रहे, क्रिकेट के लिए क्रिकेट ही उसका जिंदगी था। जाने का टाइम भी क्रिकेट का किंग माफ़ है कि उनको चल बैशी। Sudden demise of Jagmohan Dalmia ji, it is a great loss for the world cricket. In Bengal cricket, as well as in the cricket world of the country and world, entire world, he carry forward the cricket into the amongst the peoples of the world. So at this junction, his demise is a loss of the entire cricket world. Let's go across now to Manogya Loiwal, who joins us with all the latest uh, from Kolkata. Morning, Manogya. Uh, I mean, you are uh, you seem to be outside the cricket. Uh, Association of Bengal, where uh, you know the mortal remains will actually be brought for people to pay their last tributes. Uh, just take us through uh, how Kolkata is mourning the death of uh, someone who was uh, a, a pretty much a celebrated personality, not just in Kolkata but by the international cricketing community. Well, I would put it that he was not only a celebrated personality but also a very decorated person when it comes to cricket and his personal life also. Besides the business that he used to take care of, he used to take care of his family and everyone around him knew him as one person to look up to. Not only the man who always used to be known for the grand comeback that he made whenever he lost, be it in ICC, be it in BCCI or be it in any cricket match also. He was a source of inspiration for almost everyone who knew him. Today, there will be series of engagements during the day. We see a lot of people dropping in from various parts of the country that include Anurag Thakur as well as other people of BCCI, important post holders of BCCI. Arun Jaitley too has expressed his grief on what has happened. But besides that, what we have gathered from our sources is that this body will be here at his house at Dalmia residence in Alipur Park Road till around 11.30 to 12. From here it will be moved and sent uh, in a procession with all due respects to Cricket Association of Bengal which is Eden Garden. There it will be kept for around three hours for people to pay their tribute from people of all quarters, especially Cricket Association of Bengal and other clubs who have been member of Cricket Association of Bengal. Remember he represented Rajasthan club in CAB and the fact that he will be uh, perhaps being taken to Rajasthan all, all club also that's a possibility till now. 3 o'clock there will be guard of honor, the state respect that will be paid to him and then the fire procession will head towards Kiora Talaghat for the final uh, tributes. Absolutely. Manu Galoival, many thanks for joining us at this moment. Of course, uh, we are expecting that a lot of people will pay, pay their tributes to, the, to this uh, cricket administrator uh, who, whose life has in fact been, as Manu Gaya mentioned, celebrated as well as decorated. So while the cricket fraternity mourns the death of BCCI President Jagmohan Dalmia, we recap the life of one of the greatest sports administrators. There's probably a reason why he was called the man of comebacks.
A few know him as a cricket administrator, some as a businessman. Among media, he is nicknamed the man of comebacks. But above all, Jagmohan Dalmia will be remembered as the man who reformed Indian cricket. Ever since joining the Board of Control for Cricket in 1979, Dalmia has foreseen the rise of the sport, not just in terms of quality, but also monetary. That after he was appointed treasurer in 1983, an unforgettable year for India. Dalmia's influence was one of the many reasons why India got to host the 1987 World Cup. He played a decisive role before the 1996 World Cup as well, when Australia and West Indies refused to play in terror hit Sri Lanka. Dalmia was the hand behind forming a United India Pakistan team to play a charity match against Sri Lanka. It was an open secret that Dalmia had his eyes on becoming the ICC president, and after repeated efforts, it finally materialized in 1997. He was the helm of affairs for three years. Post that, he was handed the pass to run the BCCI. That period between 2001 and 2004 was crucial for Indian cricket. From Saurav Ganguly taking over as captain to India's series of wins abroad and of course finishing second best in the 2003 World Cup. But what followed were the dark days for Dalby. In the 2005 BCCI elections, Sharad Pawar displaced him as the president. A year later, Dalmia was expelled by the board for alleged misappropriation of funds. However, like they call him the man of comebacks, Dalmia returned a decade later, taking charge of BCCI in March 2015. He once again was keen on improving the standard of the game by recalling legends and handing them an advisory role. Like everyone has put it, Dalmia's demise has left a void that can never be filled.